Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. As you know by now, playing as Kingdom of France. We're in a two front war one against our Liberia, and one um, with the, well, Third International. But anti syndicalist militias rise, which have already converted their divisions over. Following a successful landing on the mainland, hundreds of volunteers have arrived to forward posts. The Armée de Terre headquarters decided to organize our local supporters into an irregular force named Milice Francaise, or French Militia. This popular movement was quite unexpected, but welcome. I expect more militias to arise as we liberate more regions of the metropole. With help from the people, ousting the red scum from beloved France will be much easier. So we are kind of limited right now. We've got a good, solid foundation here. And we're getting attacked like crazy across the front, which I completely expected. Supplies are turning to be an issue, and we're trying to get more... Um, uh, equipment, resources, everything like that, currently. Uh, we can invest on that's fine. Right now, our, our phase is just to hold, 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 hold. And, um... Uh, I, I like this one the most. We need more of that. The fall of Shanghai. Goodbye, Shanghai. Uh, Maxwell Knight, Ian Fleming. Uh, so yeah, let's go with Ian Fleming, then. And we're also the spy master for... Oh, let's group here. Should be nice. And we are holding, holding, holding. Sure, we'll take that. Sure, we'll take that. As long as it's not over... Uh, an ocean or a seaway, I think we'll be okay. Fuel's looking good. We're doing all right overall. How are we doing down here? Did we get pushed out yet? No. Good. They are attacking a little crazy like, but that's all right with us. Uh, actually, I need you guys here. Nice. Could you potentially do this? Start beating the crap out of them there. Ooh, I don't like the red here. Ooh, no, 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 no. I really don't want to force the fence, but by God, if we have to. Yeah. I'm hoping that we can get some reinforcements in here eventually from other people, but no guarantee. And how are we doing down here? Once this group is done, that would be very, very nice. Go down here. Go, camels, go! Oh. Mm, we're gonna need more aluminum. Uh, we have negative 10 convoys, we require zero. So we built the port down over here, which is good. Oh, uh, that definitely helped out. What's this? Ooh. Uh oh. Well, that's not good now. There you go. So, what is this? Sure. Sure for now. Got some comms to go through. We lost 23,000. How many uh, evil friends have we killed? 61,000. It's not bad. Resistance to our homecoming. Well, contrary to the popular support, which made militias arise spontaneously, it seems, the communist government has managed to convince some of the poor people of France, a few communist supporters, uh, are committed to hinder our efforts at reclaiming the metropole to save the syndicalist regime. Already they are hard at work, sabotaging our infrastructure, raising dissent, and organizing resistance. We must win over this support. Should be able to win here. That's just on should. So you're literally just military police. Can I help them motorize dump maybe? Because they're in jungles and whatnot. Oh, they have tanks. I don't like tanks on those. It gives a little more armor, which is not bad. Are they able to pierce them? No. So I'm not going to change that for them for now. Yeah. Speed's not terrible. Supposed to be garrison division. But we already have the armored car up here. That I'd like to use. Uh, we're good without that one for now. Because you guys are just normal infantry. Yeah, put some combat with your thickies. Uh, it goes out of this one and this one, and yeah. That was air power right now. As long as we got enough air, that's all that matters. To me, at least. Uh, we need more support equipment, we need more planes. What else is new? Uh, oh, Bolivia's gone, machine assisted. Keep getting more decryption. Provence would have to have some of that. 
The Reds are trying really hard. Someone's trying really, really hard. Dogoimichi. The Academy Academie Francaise were awarded the French language prize of Paul Hazume for his historical novel Dogoimichi, following the court intrigues in Abami, the capital of the Dahomey Kingdom. By the author's admission, however, the plot of the book is largely there to serve its historical and ethnographic qualities. Indeed, Hazume aims to accurately depict life before European colonization to facilitate the understanding of the black mind by the colonizer, proving along the way that Dahomeans and Africans in general are not so different from civilized people and that they too have a long and rich history worthy of being studied. Born into an aristocratic family in 1890 in Porto Novo, Hazume himself is Dahomean. Educated in Catholic mission, then moving to Senegal to further his studies, Hazume wrote in a local newspaper, sharing a generally pro-French sentiment, but never shying away from criticism of the excesses of the colonial administration. As Dahomey was seated to Germany, he started a teaching career while writing articles published in both French and German territory, earning himself the respect of his European colleagues and a job at the Museum of Man. Paul Hazume has now reached new heights by becoming the first African man to earn such a distinction. This decision, which could have proved controversial so instead, but generally met with praise for much of the colonial society, though for varying reasons, were some evolutions, see proof, if one was ever needed, of the intellectual quality of the black man, some of the colonial governments see proof of the success of the civilizing mission. In any case, a fascinating book. 1941. It's a lot of time. You get more air attack. That wouldn't be bad, maybe. But we also have naval stuff here, too. We gotta deal with Potentially. So dig, 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 dig in. As we are getting more soldiers from the rest of the Anton here, too. So for now, I'm okay with that. But we'll see once they start eating up too much supply. How are we doing down here? We're doing we're doing fine. Not worried about it. We've improved ourselves quite a bit. Um since the beginning of the campaign. You know, we have done what we needed to do. Do we have any upgrades? No? Looks are still a spear tactician. You're learning, but I don't like any of those right now. Can we see any stats of these guys? What's going on here? Insufficient contract. Ooh. Need more convoys. But in crew calls cruiser hulls. Wow, they are just attacking like absolute crazy. So let's take a look. So of this Petrkin. Five million man power, holy crap. They're gonna run out of guns before then. Oh there they are. Okay, well good to know. They can mobilize a lot of guys. How much manpower do you have now? Radical socialists. 2,000 manpower. Not terrible. It's probably promoted, not bad. I wonder. Could you do this? No, you both have to go down here. Oh, if that's the case, just hang up for now. Just keep taking the attacks, you can deal with them. Small little minor battles in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, they are thrusting hard. Which one is it? Get over there. We need you now over there. Honestly, I might build a fort here. Make sure the air is good. Um, yeah, total air war. Really don't want to lose that tile. I really don't want to do this, but you can't, you really can't afford to lose that tile. Panama's gone, goodbye Panama. Uh, sure. No, it's fine. Convoys. Description. More description power. I really don't trust the AI to uh, help defend. Oh, canceled. Oh, whatever. But still. How are we looking down here? Oh, hey, Jesus. Got it.
Yeah, we'll probably lose this time. Why do they not defend up here, too? Hold. Just hold it here. It's fine. What do we got here now? Yeah, thank you. You know, I might just need to Liberia too. Oh no, War Central America. Alright, so now we continue with this. Better report at least. And there's support. Nice. And we did go to War Economy too. Uh, can't get more manpower if we really needed it, but we don't really need it. So. The Algerian bomber. Marcel Saddam. Nicknamed the Algerian bombers, claimed the French welterweight boxing title after a 12 rounds battle of pure will against his opponent, in front of thousands who came to see his new sensation of French boxing. <coughs> 22 years old, he's not known to feat since he started boxing professionally and is now on a 40 win streak, something that uh, few have achieved, especially considering Sardan has admitted in interviews that he hates hurting others and prefers football over boxing. Tenacious, quick, and with incredible precision, some see an immense potential, despite his one real, re real weakness. Fragile hands, earning him his other name, the man with clay hands. Born in a poor Pied Noir's family of Spanish origin, speaking French, Arabic, and Spanish, had enough school at 11, drifting from job to job until his father realized his true worth as a boxer, Marcel's success stories turned him into a popular icon, no matter the community. Arabs, immigrants, Pied Noir's exiles in the public sees him as a truly self-made man. Coming from nothing, yet climbing ever higher through sheer effort and strength of character. His national title well earned, he now is looking to join in the European fray. World Nation will follow with great interest his career from now on, cheering him on, perhaps even all the way to a world champion title. Alas Marcel Anival. Well, at least that's good. Good for the morale. And we a cup of coffee here too. So if they've stopped attacking, we're going to start doing little pushes here and there. Um, I like the coast. Wouldn't mind going this way, but we'll see. Should be able to do fine there. I want to get this tile back, but I don't think we're really ready for it. And there's quite a few mountains here. Hello. Well, you know, I want, said I want to attack, but you know that they want to continue attacking. You know, just let them. I read this one too last time too, so there you go. Boop. Hello. Ah, uh, on, please. Uh, now we're going to be dependent on Russian oil? No thanks. You know what, at this point, we're going to turn out to be aggressive here. Find their convoys and sink them all. How are we doing down here? Okay, let them attack and then we might attack down here too. Advanced heavy are good. So we got that at least. And we are going to need bigger guns. Let me get the bigger guns. Is it here? Yeah. What do we got here? Pretty convoys. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Um. Small, precise attacks. That's where we need them. What am I going here to here to here? But that's quite a bit of a movement. Where is a supply in their fields? Toulouse. I just got to be very careful about supply. Just in case. Oh, we have a Provence being worked on. We can throw another one here too. That's fine. Another oil field in Algeria. That'd be nice. Hello. Well, we can't quite get that, whatever. Oh, there goes Romania. I think they're Moscow Accords, right? Deed. Nice. Point. I'll extend you all the way out here. I'll extend you here, too. Uh, yeah, it's fine. 
Are they going to take us again? West Indies request outdated planes. Well, it's, well <laughs> everything's pretty much maxed out right now. The government of the West Indies has requested 25 planes from the Great War as a means to kickstart an Air Force. Plane production has never really been their priority thus far, but they hope they can our help can change that for the better. I'm sorry, but you should have asked us before the war started. Uh, we can do this. It's 19... Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Crap, my bad. thought I forgot about something. And I did. We're really spreading ourselves thin here. Like I said, I don't really want to thrust in too hard anywhere. Because I don't trust our allies holding the line. I really don't. Oh, hello. Come on, you have got that. You can probably exploit it and push harder. Oh, uh, you know what? We actually have this other one to do, too. Send him across. Call of Sands, a uh, Grand Prix du Cinema Francais has been awarded the Call of Sands, a drama by Leon Poirier. The movie, <coughs> retelling the life of the blessed Charles de Foucault, has found critical acclaim and great commercial success. Indeed, he has fascinated the French public for years now. Charles Eugene, Viscount de Foucault, would have seemed much like of his early life an unlikely candidate for the devotion now surrounding him. Um, Born into an aristocratic family, lived a dissolute life, eventually becoming a cavalry officer. The experience spurred him to leave his old life behind. He decided to take the vows, attracted by ascetic life of poverty among the Tarags with whom he formed deep bonds, learning their language, translating the scriptures, and preaching through example. Seen as a saintly man by natives, authorities in the church's hierarchy, a strategic end awaited him. Caught in the conflict with the Saint Nusi, he was martyred on the 1st of December of 1916. Desert Hermit, saintly martyr, pioneer of French influence in the most remote corners of the empire, Father Charles became a national hero icon. His total benefit to God and asceticism inspired many Catholics, leading some to rethink their position on native populations in Islam as a whole. His recent beatification has even led the Academy of Colonial Sciences to petition the papacy so that he could be made a patron saint of colonization. The regime, however, hasn't waited for him to be officially recognized as such, and prominently uses him as a propaganda piece, despite de Foucault's frequent criticism of colonial attitudes. Father, I surrender to you? I say for sure? Hmm, now I'm thinking, you know what? We're going to save here. If you do all this. Um, what if... We trust our allies for a slight bit. And push so hard in a certain direction that we can get all the southern France under us. Or we can go to Italy and do this, that idea. Because I don't think the Portuguese can really hold here. I really would just like to do something like that. Or instead, I want this war to finish off really badly. Hmm. We thin our line even further and concentrate our forces and go here. How strong? We can't tell how strong the PRI is. That's such a public Italy, are they? So for a million, they're out of fuel, which is great, which means our air forces can just completely demolish them. Uh, so I'm thinking here, we can concentrate these guys here and, and do that. We can try. Oh, good. Oh, crap. Oh, that was the wrong group to do. Was that? Yeah, that was. Whoopsie! Yeah, whatever, my bad. My bad. I was like, what is going on? Oh, that was a mistake. There was no mistake at all, you know? Absolutely no mistake, especially as Brittany is being liberated right now by the Entente. And they're not doing a great job, but they're doing okay. Oh, I'm gonna go into here. Totally didn't make a mistake at all. Totally did not. Totally not going to kill all these guys down here because they have no way to get more supply. There we go. Hey, some convoys. Please kill them. Please. We're still defending down here, but whatever. It is what it is. Aviation production? Great. Uh, tactical bombers, heavy fighters. Uh, air coordination centers. That's fine. All 
across the med. Oh, nothing armor scheme. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I'll go here too. Uh, I would probably take these guys out faster than later, sooner rather than later. Nope. Uh, what do we got here? Maybe? Oh yeah. Fancy holes. We're gonna wait. What do we got here? Ah, military presence in Provence. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, what is this? Install military presence in Brittany. Oh, that'd be great too. Mobilize loyalists in Brittany. Of course. Please. They're sur literally surrounded. Why do you keep getting captured, my guy? Just in case, we'll take two here. Support the attack. Support the attack. Support the attack. There you go, there you go, there you go. Very nice. Um, You know what, we need more fuel. I'm gonna go another civvy. Look at that. Thank you, Burma. It's very nice. Ah, oh, a beautiful thing. Nice. Oh, let's punch more holes through here, too. So we circled them. It looks like they actually have a good footing right here. I could do a general attack, but I still don't want to waste any Frenchmen's lives. So this is the next major uh, thing we got to get. Probably send the next division that we make down here. They, they could really use it. Alright. You going in? Have fun with it. No, no, no. I want you to just go here. You hold. Now we can get across the ocean. Ocean, river. You don't need to be so further. Stand it out. Boop. Air coordination centers, uh, DM barrage to coordinate offenses and defensive efforts in the air. The ministry will generalize the use of electromagnetic detection, immense antennas, plates, and strategic points using electromagnetic waves to detect aircraft. Ah. Great, we have the other here too. Welcome aboard. There you go. Eh, we're fine. La Metaphysique Orientale. You stay there. After the defeat of Napoleon, the third in the Franco-Prussian War, there was an explosion of esoteric societies in France. The occultist milieu produced various new religious and philosophical currents claiming ancient lineages and hidden knowledge, <clears throat> supposedly handed down by the cabals of masons, magicians, and alchemists. From this milieu emerged the first academic studies of oriental religions and metaphysical studies and sy systems. However, following the defeat, this nascent community of occultists and orientalists has broken into two, with violent embrace or rejection of the new socialist regime. However, uh, the René Gonon is firmly in the camp of anti syndicalists having followed the government in exile written by anti-materialist tracts and published a crisis of the modern world in which he rejects the concept of progress in favor of Hindu cycle cyclical time. However, he's equally highly controversial even within the far right, arguing in favor of ultramontanism on the basis of the supremacy of the Brahmin over the Kshatriya, having recently converted to Sufi Islam and exited his Masonic Lodge. His most recent book, Oriental Metaphysics, is a detailed exploration of Oriental metaphysical systems, drawing links between Catholicism and Eastern religions as sharing a primordial tradition. It has been embraced by certain parts of the far right, who see these systems as a way to escape the liberal worldview of their recent past in favor of a traditional system, free of the evils of progress. However, is, however others have rejected it violently, seeing this as a resurrection of Gnosticism within the Christian vanguard, with some wishing it to be banned. 
The book has caused significant controversy and lively debate, particularly between Gunon and Catholic neo thomist philosopher Jacques Martin, getting a surprising amount of success with even relatively mainstream audiences. Calls for a ban of the book have risen from clergy and conservative Catholics, while others argue it could be helpful in evangelization or control of the natives. Eh. We're good. I wonder if you could do this. So you guys are doing pretty decently over here. Oh my god, AI, please. Are you this dumb? Please do not be this dumb. Let's go here. It's fine. You'll get him. Not worried about it at all. Okay, we'll supply. We're gonna race for the sea. Or maybe race for Bordeaux? Or we could race down here. Pow would be nice. An invitation to the Latin Union. At the end of the Spanish Civil War, the Carlos Kingdom of Spain is recognized as a regime as a true French government. So, after an alliance, and order to liberate from the communards. We leave the Entente. They want a Latin Union? That would really screw things up right now. Oh, they're attacking too. Look at that. Mm. I mean, that would put us. A Potentially in conflict with them, but uh, I don't care much for the Entente in the end. I don't know. What, is there a focus that changes after this? Let's see. La Liberation. Third legitimacy. Trials of the Communards. Rebuild industry. National recovery. Consolidate alliances. There's that one, but then we have Return of the King. Morosians hold on power. A called men. What is this one? Winner of the Capitalists. Social Revolution. Expunge Subversion. As much as I want to do this one, it looks like the Maras has the most here. So we might just go that way. De Gaulle's Pooch. Into the Future. As cool as it is, I think I'm going to go this route. So, what do we got here? Cleanse it. Socialist Decadence. Integralist consistency. Weekly map goes up like that. Even more. Do we lose a lot of manpower or something here? National populism. Ah. Boutain moves to reform Morassism. Christianity at the forefront. Philosophical trio Plateau, Rousseau, and Maras. Neo Marasisma in th thought. The birth of Neo Marasisma. Or his eternal legacy. Hmm. Le Pen. Do we want to go with Le Pen? Western of the locals and decentralist positions. Towards a true national front. Um, for now, I'm just going to observe them. Can we ask to join their faction later, maybe? I don't think we can. We're fighting these guys, we're fighting those guys. Call join wars, leave faction. Yeah. Must have buttons present, enabled in faction diplomacy buttons. So I'm going to say no for now, because I would definitely want to get all of what we want from what we need. And things can break down later. You guys are doing fine down here still. I guess I need down south. Um, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of stuff up here. There's not much you can really do. Just 
defend for now, maybe. You eight. Get to where you need to be. Sure. They got so lucky that there's like no one over there. In there. 1941. Happy 1941, everybody. And you're there. It's only one division main circle. Eed, great. Oop. What else are we missing? Support equipment, artillery, anti air. Oh, we got a little bit of rocket artillery too. It's nice. Yeah, I want rocket artillery. I just want him so hard. Ooh, this is way too thin. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, so much. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no. Oh, that's why I don't trust AI. DCA network. For many airports from attacking us on our own soil, particularly in Corsica, so close to the Red Mainland, we develop a network of anti-aircraft artillery batteries and searchlights, highly coordinated by the Ministry of Air. the Atlantic. God dang it, these stupid on top members. Should have left the alliance. <laughs> Still attacking? It's fine with us. Yeah, I don't want to attack into Red Italy. I don't think that'd be smart for us. Up next, um, how does supply run through here? There's two here, one through there maybe. So what we're gonna do is this. Boop. Get to Bordeaux. Something like that. I don't know. Secure control of MIDI? Sure. Blow the Bordeaux towards railway? Blow the railway. Is there any common reinforcements as opposed to Aquitaine? Mm, I'm okay with not doing that because I don't want to rebuild that later. I mean, it would be fine if we did, but still. Can we hurry up? Thank you. Please. Are these... These aren't French. These are Italian. Yeah. There you go. Slow and steady. Portugal. That's why you don't no longer have your empire. You gotta be slowish and steadyish. Go to Bordeaux. Great. Sure. Sure. Now we got Bordeaux. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Aquitaine. How are we doing down here? Having a good old time? Yeah, I bet. Alright, so that mind. So have too many divisions for me to want to say. Oh my god, you got encircled here? You're gonna lose five allied divisions. Wow. 
Museum of Man, today in Algiers. The Museum of Man, a museum reuniting collections related to man's evolution, man's biological unity and variety, and man's cultural and social diversity, showcasing various objects such as prehistoric artifacts, numerous examples of both French and indigenous crafts and artistry, and photographs documenting the way of life of the various peoples living in the French Empire. Much of its collections are recent acquisitions. Indeed, the government funded extensive ethnographic expeditions in her present and former colonial possessions in an effort to consolidate her hold on outlying territories. In 1931, Dakar Djibouti Mission alone, for example, made above linguists, ethnographers, naturalists, painters, photographers, and even musicologists brought back more than 3,000 objects, 6,000 photographs, 1,600 meters of photographic film, and 1,500 pages of notes documenting invaluable information on a rapidly disappearing way of life. Though there's been some criticism over the manner of acquisition of his collections, some radical newspapers even going so far as making accusations of racket. The opening ceremony of the museum was a success, attended by the mayor of Algiers, the minister of the colonies, and thousands of curious Algeroids, Pierre Noirs, and indigenous, indigenous alike. It's not stealing this for science, right? It's only stealing if you have to return it. Our people didn't want you to take it. Maybe they should have fought their wars better. You know? Long-range fighters, of course, could not be a floating airfield from which planes can easily reach the mainland, but we nevertheless need fighters capable of patrolling the vast expanses of the Mediterranean, as well as escort our bombers deep in red territory to destroy the commons industry. The Ministry will ensure that the development of heavy fighters is not neglected. Are we there yet? What are we missing? Rocket artillery, support equipment, anti-air. That's normal stuff, though. Cool. Go in, please. What do you want? Nope. So far, this has probably been the most successful campaign I've ever played as uh, Red France. Red France? No, National France. Mm, you know what I'm seeing here? As much as I want to make an encirclement to La Roche, I do realize that we need to get over this river. And then once we're over the river, we can probably do a generic attack. Oh yeah, we definitely can. So I need to go here and here. And you're going to stay here. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, oh, look at this. I got a few planes and whatnot. A couple carriers. Ooh, if we don't destroy them, we can actually use them. I said don't move. What part of do not move do you not understand? You go here. I need you to start just molly whopping them. I don't know. Who does, does anyone say molly whop anymore? Oopsie. Nope. Sure. Even the Germans have been doing better on their front, too. We're literally just going up back around through the river. Better radar, nice. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. What are the couches like? 61,000 versus almost half a million. Very skilled, very coordinated leaders we have. Yeah, I still don't want to do your architect. They know we're going to get ready for something big. Alright, so that's good. We need another encirclement, but where are our supply lines? Supply through here. Ooh, we can do this. Cut them off through here. That's going to be the next big hit, then. Boop. Or we just walk in. Oh, welcome aboard. Hopefully you're not going to die like the last group. God dang it. And you're just hanging out. All right, we got supply hub. OK, that's really bad when the AI does not even guard the supply hubs. But I'm going to take that and run with it. Ooh, that's not connected to ours. Uh, can we connect it? I think that'd be a smart idea for now. We might be fine, but still. Boop. Boop. It'll take some time. We'll probably have it down by then anyways, but whatever. So that means we got to move fast. I'll look through here. There we go. I'm actually going to tell you to force it, because we got to go fast. Too bad we have no motorized or anything like that. 
Good. You stay. Now envelop them. Very nice. I'm surprised Sicily's not moved in anymore, but whatever. Alright, so we don't have very much here. We can do what we can, though. French lives are important, my friends. Very, very important. Move in, consolidate. Move in, destroy. Long range fighters, very nice. Tactical bombers. Our military thinkers have realized the importance of coordinated airline efforts, with infantry heavily supported by air tactical support against its defensive structures, enemy personnel, or infrastructure. To implement these tactics, the Ministry of Air will support the development of tactical bombers, as they should. Oh, I probably should do that too. Nice, there you go. Oh, look at that. Quite a few divisions here, so help them out. Oh, the Red Menace. You must die. Ah, very nice. Nope. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. I'm just being very, very peculiar as to how we do this. I think. We got this. Now we're going to struggle against Red Italy, and that's okay. We have the Savage broken too. So get everyone back on the line, and we're going to do the unthinkable. A full frontal attack. 53 planes, nice. Here, you're going to have some planes down there too, because I'm sure you can use them. Nice. Hello. Very nice. A little more uh, recovery rate and organization for infantry. I love it. Ooh, convoys, yes. Are we ready, where we need to be? Almost, almost ready to go. You guys are hanging out. Great. And we're going to try. Just in case, I don't trust the Entente. I should have joined the Latin Union. But I guess not, because yeah, we still have the soldiers here in the fighting, and we allow law and whatnot, so. Cool. Boop. I want to forget about this. Boop, boop, boop. We're going in, boys and girls. Let's see what we can do. We're not doing so well, are we, down here? But on the you know, western side, we're doing okay. Center, not so much. They've really stacked up a lot of bodies, which is unfortunate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh, fight the other cyphers. We're going to link up to Brittany, hopefully. Even the center is doing pretty darn well. Now, if the rest of the Entente would figure out how to attack at the same time and coordinate everything, we could be doing way better. Of course, they have no air. They don't have air superiority. They've got a few planes here and there, but still, we're going to incur a lot of casualties. But that's why we got a lot of manpower and military presence in Provence. Yes, please. Uh, secure Northern Aquitaine. Yes, please. And military presence in Brittany. Yes, please. They're out of guns, so any damage you do, they can't recover from. And an unfortunate uh, benefit to losing men is that we can also get more war score. So, alright. So it looks like the. The thrust is pretty much over. I'm going to hold. Yeah, if you push me over that river, that'd be great. If you're not attacking here. You're fine. You're actually doing okay here. That's fine. Well, we tried a thrust. I wanted to end the war there, but it looks like the cards weren't in it for us there. Transmitting knowledge. France is a proud history of aeronautics, and the Wild Bill Creek produced many heroes of the air. But you can't learn to fly on the ground, and pilots are a rare commodity. We'll show the best aces become even better instructors and teach a young generation how to excel and exceed them. 
new air tactics. The field of military aviation is a rapidly changing one, and our pilots must adapt their skills to ever-changing technology. With new aircraft to come, new possibilities of offensive and defensive maneuvers, new ways of coming out of the tense dogfight. Extensive training in these new tactical advances will give an edge over our enemies. We're preparing our turn. To conquer the metropole, we need to land on a shore, a fight that the commoner has been expecting for two decades, or two decennies. It'll be anything but simple. We must prepare as much as we can, as there'll be no second chance. The Ministry will invest in the development of anything that could help our amphibious assault. Well, we're in a pretty good spot. We want to assault them, so we're going to try it. This might do well. The center in the south, I mean, the center in the east, aren't going to do well. The west is ready to crumble at this point. Um, hopefully, we made another encirclement here. Fantastic. Hurry up and destroy these divisions so we can send these guys further uh, towards the center and the east. Fantastic. Um, and Paris is now a frontline city, so we are mopping them up pretty darn fast. Um, hopefully we can break through in a few areas here and there, because um, I really want to get Paris back by the end of this episode, which we should be able to do. No, I don't want to join your other wars. We've got other things to focus on first, please. We're doing okay. Turn is... We just took turn as well. Rubber's nice. And good, good. We're doing quite well, I'd say. Um... Anything else here that we really want? Probably not. Naval stuff, 1940, advanced cruiser hull, sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Um, overall, not bad. I want, I have to get Paris back. There's four, there's four divisions there. Can't do too much about it right now, but we're trying. Oh, and Paris has been cut off. Now that's pretty nice. Pop them out. And they're even further cut off, so now there's really nothing they can do. You guys go in here too. Paris is going to be complete. It is completely surrounded by now. Great. Great to see. I know we're incurring quite a few casualties here, but it is what it is. We do what we must. Good. Even though I do not like fighting over rivers and whatnot. Still. Uh, can you guys get into here at all? Can you assault Paris? What else can you do here? Anything else? Uh, still over a river, which I don't like. Get up here. As we're preparing our return, of course. Do not let them leave. Now they're fully surrounded. Uh oh. I think we're going to get it back, boys and girls. Uh, what are we missing besides more infantry equipment? Lots of infantry equipment and support equipment. Full 15 here. Um, since we're reading that. Subs. Invasion logistics, however, the amphibious assault is merely the first part. We must ensure that our troops can secure a lasting bridgehead. And for this, there's only one way to prepare. Impeccable logistics. And so that the men are lucky enough to be right to be the first to set foot on the sacred soil, the Patri can hold back any counterattack the communards might attempt. We have it. Reports from Paris confirm that the communard capital has been captured. Fantastic. Um, by uh, advancing French troops out of the furious fighting across its large avenues in the Siam. Commander forces put up stiff resistance, hoping to delay the French forces for as long as possible, but were eventually beaten back. As shocked uh, Parisians looked on, the French army paraded uh, through the Champ Elysees and towards the Eiffel Tower. This test of half atmosphere eventually devolved into vicious urban combat, however, with Commander resistance and the dead of the night, and French forces easily plowing through the inefficient barricades in the large Parisian avenues. Our victory over the Federation of the Commander of France is now all but assured. Reunion fervor. With the capital and several other major cities under our control, our forces have become emboldened by recent victories and seek to quickly reclaim the country from the communards. Oh, we'll do this one. More well, those regiments, that's fine. We got enough political power for all this stuff, that's fine. Uh, good, 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 good. So, why not? We deserve it, right? Yes, we do. Good. And then we can defeat the Italian forces here, too. And we're done with the land auction. Beautiful. Commander France has fallen. Fantastic. And now, uh, you know, we can try to just push in. I don't think the, the Italians, the Red Italians can hold on to this at all whatsoever. So, if that's the case, uh, we're going to go in reunion forever. Or fervor. Fever. Yeah. Oh, we got the guns too. Uh, resistance is, is ongoing within the territory of the Federation of the Commune of France. Sure to defeat the entirety of the Third International, it might be possible to roll the legitimacy of the Commune government in exile to the point that the resistance in France surrendered completely. Our efforts must be to convince the French people that the Commune government is and always was an illegitimate construction, as well as a true oppressor. If the will to fight on behalf of the syndicalist collapses, there will be little opposition to our occupancy. Or occupation. 
It's not really an occupation. This is our territory. This is literally our territory. So, take Milan. No supply for them. The German forces should be able to move in pretty swiftly because they're not doing well now against these guys. So that will help out the Germans, which we don't care about the Germans too much. But still, um, could always use more support equipment. Uh, armored guards are nice. Good air support. We'll go here too. This will be catch all. Ooh, and happy September 1st. Two years after the war started, we have what we need. These guys are cut off, which is fine. Fighting in here is going to be a pain in the butt, but it's alright. Ooh. Good. How are we looking down here? We still haven't moved. We'll settle those guys once we're down here, too. Boop. Beautiful. Invest all of it. That's fine. Still help with the economy. Looking good. Eventually, we're going to need to build up all this stuff, too. Because I'm sure we'll have a lot of resistance to deal with. We'll have all sorts of stuff, but we're going to uh, move through and whatnot. Um, yeah. Of course, like, uh, the war ain't over yet. Come on. Defeat him. Good. Oh. I just beat the crap out of them. Oh, hello. Wow. Here, help out down there. I know they wanted to help out down further south, but, uh, oh well. Or help out liberating France itself, but, uh, it's alright. We have other uses for you. Secure control of MIDI. Um. What's your resistance like? Yeah, we'll keep doing this one. That's fine. Secure control of Dauphin. Dauphine? Something like that, yeah. Sounds good to me. Are we there yet? Almost. Beautiful. I'm not worried about this. Hell's fire, good. I'm not sure which one's the most best one. We should suppression barrage, break this, both breakthrough. Only 20% chance. I don't like that. Ironside, XP gain. Ah, oh, you be crafty. Why not? Assembly line production is nice. Um, here. That's fine, too. Are you all down there yet? Nope. That's going to take some time. That's fine. Ooh, the convoys. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's German stuff we don't care about. I know they're doctrine too now. Beautiful. Get them where they need to be. Cruiser models, armored cruisers, destroyers, definitely this one. Aviation cruisers. The field of naval aviation has been somewhat left behind by the international community. Locked in a permanent arms race, this is a race we cannot win, and still will radically change our doctrine and encourage use of air power and naval warfare for reconnaissance and precision strikes. Beautiful. Go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, France is back in Italy. Just like in the 19th century. Good. Serbia's gone. So what are the reds we gotta get rid of? Here, I mean here, I guess Ireland as well. We got them. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, 
That's good stuff. Good. Alright, so there's that. Game of Siam's gone. We don't really care about that too much. I don't know if you guys all up here. Because you guys have to have to invade next. It's gonna be the real test. Can we naval invade from here to there? Ooh. I think we're quite done with the naval option. Oh, we definitely are not. Military presence, good. Legitimacy is too high. Can you win down here? No, but you might get Gabaranga. Whatever that is. Kanta? Yeah, no, you're not gonna you're not allowed to leave. Good. Better fuel refining is very nice too. Very good, very good, very good. Um, it's a little ahead of time, but that's alright. Good. I don't think I want to do that. That's fine. Sea Leviathans. We might not be able to compete with Germany and Japan on the naval arms race, but we certainly can attempt to knock out any of any of our Mediterranean opponents with well armed heavy battleships. This might go against previous doctrines, but our current situation means it is time for some innovation. Nice. How much more manpower do these guys have? None. So any damage you do, they cannot recover from. So you're going to force the attack at this point. I don't care if you die along the lines here. I really don't. There you go. Anti-Parisian. Anti-Partisan. Liberia, you must die. Hello? Well, I guess you can't invade there. So in the meantime, we're going to invade up here instead. Probably should be paying attention to this more, but whatever. We're going to finish off Liberia first. Since I really want these guys to die. We don't want to be distracted anymore. Oh, I'm not near this fine. Oh, the Republic's public's gone. It's fine. Bench cruisers are nice. Alright, you can't win down there. Alright, so then we're gonna continue focusing on our other legacy. That's fine. Um, I want you guys up here. Boop. Nice. Boop, boop. You guys up here. Advanced power control systems are okay. You got this too, it's fine. God, I 
hate Africa. Yeah, we literally have like no organization. We need more planes. Brazil. Oh, okay. That's weird. Cycle soldiers in and out. Tons more chaos, please. Develop the Fossa Sous Marines. The economy lacks many resources, essential to the modern war effort, mostly oil. Keeping control of the Med will be a strong step towards isolating them from the allies or neutral states willing to trade with them, but a large fleet of submarines will give us the capacity to harass the convoys even more efficiently. That's advanced cruiser. I'll probably do that off screen. Southern Rhodesia, not the Rhodesia, oh no. It's very costly to do. I hate Africa. Oof. You better be learning a lot about being coming to jungle rat and whatnot. There you go. Oh my god, I set this up so that it would auto split off and figure out how to invade properly. But the game was stupid. God damn it. We cannot allow the Germans to get in there. Hopefully, the Germans get pushed out. Hello, what is this? Yemen. Well, that's nice. Uh, Battaglia de Scadres. Battle for the Mediterranean won't always be won with a single engagement. We think strategically. By creating task forces, we'll ensure our ships have clear rules and they'll be easily more coordinated, and our NATO commanders will be taught how to think on a larger scale. And the Germans got pushed out, at least. That's good. Oh, we got a couple more days left. God, this is painful doing it like this. Just 
Australian mission from the Australasian Confederation. The government of the Australasian Confederation has approached us regarding the possibility, possibility of a new bilateral trade agreement between our countries in return. For the drop of the tariffs in place currently instructing imports, uh, they promise to do the same for French goods. Of course. Why would we not? That sounds like a great idea. Air. Happy 1942, everybody. Even better rocketry, please. Thank you. Raise your speed. Thank you. Get in there. Hit him even harder. So let's see. We're gonna save real quick. Looks like Romania or Belgium has invaded Ireland. I kinda like the way Kingdom of France looks right now too. We have to kill every last African down there, that's fine, I don't care. Can we win here? You go here. You need these two here. And you're going to force the attack. These guys are going to probably die there, unfortunately. It is what it is. Unfortunately. Um, follow Moscow. Oh, boy. Good. This way it's gone. Excuse me, guys. I need you in here now. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Looks like those guys were pushed out. That's okay. And I'll keep beating these guys up. So I think one of here. I hate to tease you like this, but uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We've lost so many men, a quarter million, basically, mostly against Liberia of all places, Liberia. So, but they're gonna die. We'll kill every last African down there, apparently. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will capitulate the Third International. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.